everyone welcome to my channel and today i want to share my experience and my feedback about pbo acrylic paints and at the end of the video i will compare my paintings where i have used liquidex basics and pbo studio acrylic paints so let's get started so guys now i'll be painting a black line and uh, this is the method to check the opacity and transparency of the colors so when i paint this uh, black line you can use any color any dark color like burnt umber or burnt sienna these are also the dark colors and then you can paint the other colors over them so that you can check how opaque or how transparent they are so now we have this uh, ultramarine blue color it says it is transparent and uh, there are uh, all tubes available in 100 ml size and this sign it is it says it approves and it is approved by ASTM which is a international standard organization that develops and publishes technical standards for a wide range of materials so for all art and craft materials the ASTM D sign should be there whenever you buy something you can see this sign and there are several other signs where we can check the opacity and transparency which I'll mention on the description also PBO is a uh, France based company and they provide a wide range of uh, paints like uh, watercolors, acrylics, acrylics for beginners and they have a set which consists of uh, 12 and 18 tubes. These are very small tubes available in market. So when I first started, I started with PBO 16 or maybe it was 18 tube set and it was quite nice so if you are a beginner if you are just starting and you don't want to have a lot of uh, budget then you can buy that uh, set you don't have to worry about mixing all the colors you can just have all the colors in one set So guys, I'm not testing all the tubes. Instead, I have taken some transparent and some opaque paints. And from the beginning, this uh, dark ultramarine blue, it says it is transparent and it is actually transparent. The second one is fluorescent yellow, which is also transparent and it is also mentioned on the label. The third one, it says it is uh, opaque, but I don't think that it is opaque. It is uh, quite transparent. The fourth one is opaque and it is actually opaque. So uh, the thing is you have to check by yourself which one is transparent and which one is opaque, which works well for you. So uh, that's all from the testing part. And if I miss something or maybe something important I have to mention, please comment if you know something and please write your feedback. I want to know more about the colors and if there is any other new color, please let me know. So friends, this is the painting. I painted using a PPO acrylic paints. You can see. I hope you can see on the camera these are quite thick colors but they are not satin like uh, there is no shine and I like it and then I have another painting which I have painted using liquid X basics these colors also says that they are satin finish but like uh, there are some tubes which are satin and some are not so here the ultramarine blue and black I hope that shine is coming on the camera 
so I found that Liquitex basic is actually satin but PBO is not guys thank you so much for watching the video and please subscribe to my channel and if you like the video please give a thumbs up thank you bye, -bye.